The Turkish armies are in retreat and General Allenby is in hot pursuit. He wants to destroy as much of the enemy as he can while he has the upper hand. He knows there is plenty of fight left in the Turks. They may be retreating, but they are not giving up. Instead of continuing his drive to the north, Allenby turns to the east, toward the holy city of Jerusalem. The symbolic history of that ancient city, sacred to Christians, Muslims, and Jews, is more important at the moment than another great victory against the Turks. Lloyd George has already told Allenby to take Jerusalem before Christmas. The religious significance is not lost on Christians among the British troops. Ford's tin lizzies plowed through the sandhills and raced along the coast tracks where Pharaoh's war chariots had traveled. A derelict tank lay in no man's land within rifle shot of where Samson's primitive weapon of the jawbone of an ass had proved more deadly. Well, you know, in some respects it, it was a crusade. Uh, but Allenby is really sensitive about this because he doesn't want it to be called a crusade. A lot of his soldiers were Muslim. I mean, his labor force, uh, for example. He also had Indian troops. And so he doesn't want this sort of Christian versus Muslim conflict. And he just doesn't want to call that at all. But you couldn't help but be aware, if you were a British soldier, that you were going into Bethlehem or that you were getting closer to Jerusalem. And so even though Allenby doesn't want it really talked about as a crusade, you know, some of the rank and file uh, did think that way. And I think it, it was some motivation uh, for some of these, these British soldiers. On a night of rain and bitter cold, British forces attacked the holy city of Jerusalem on December 7, 1917. The enemy offers strong resistance at first, but they are only 15,000 men against overwhelming enemy numbers. They begin to withdraw from the city. Four centuries of Ottoman rule have come to an end. On December 11th, General Allenby enters Jerusalem on foot out of respect for the city. He is the 34th conqueror of Jerusalem in its long, volatile past. After a campaign that has lasted 40 days and 40 nights, with the loss of 18,000 men, the British soldiers have delivered a Christmas present to their nation. In the city, Allenby delivers a proclamation to the crowd and dignitaries gathered. Since your city is regarded with affection by the adherents of three of the great religions of mankind, and its soil has become consecrated by the prayers and pilgrimages of multitudes of devout people of those three religions for many centuries, therefore do I make it known to you that every sacred building, monument, holy spot, shrine, or customary place of prayer of whatsoever form of the three religions will be maintained and protected according to the existing customs and beliefs of those to whose faiths they are sacred. The Turks lose 25,000 men in the struggle that began October 31st. They are down but not out and still hold a strong defensive line from the Mediterranean to the Dead Sea. But peace still lies somewhere beyond its walls. Sound and graphic action, current events of the world.
as you've seen in the video, a very short video, but it encapsulates pretty much everything that happened. For the Muslim world, especially when we talk of Palestine, December the 11th is a date we should keep in mind. In the same way, September 11th is important to the Western Hemisphere, December the 11th is our date. That was a time when the actual fait accompli was done. And you could almost say Palestine was ripped out of the body and given away. So it's an important, it's an important chapter. I know some of you said it's, it's painful to watch, but you have to watch these things. You need to witness it. You need to open your eyes to what actually happened. Uh, and there's a lot more behind those events. In fact, a month before that, Balfour already sent a letter to Rothschild, Lord Rothschild in the UK, offering him Palestine. So it was already known that in, in, within a few weeks, we're going to have Palestine. This was effectively just a ceremonial cherry on the top, cherry on top of the cake, effectively. They already knew that they had it. And in part, it was because of the Muslims being complicit with the British that this was possible. The Arab revolt that was happening in Medina and in the Hejaz diverted Ottoman guards and made them busy in that respect. So they couldn't defend fully Palestine. But also within Allenby's army, there were many Muslims who accompanied him. Welcome to History Yoon, the world's leading online learning platform specializing in Islamic history. Discover the History Yoon mobile app and participate in regular live and interactive seminars and tune in directly from your handset from anywhere in the world. Enjoy instant access to a growing catalog of on-demand streaming content exclusive to the platform, accessible from a variety of devices including desktops, tablets, and cell phones. Connect instantly with our global community of history enthusiasts via our private community forum. To find out more about our online history programs and resources, visit our website today at www.historyyoon.com.